What is the most important play in your football program's history? That was a question that came up on our radio show uh, over the last couple of days. But it was sparked by a friend of mine, Jay White, on Twitter. We were kind of talking about uh, the good old days 20 years ago in football, and that came up. And he argued that a play in the 1998 game for Mississippi State against Arkansas, actually two plays, a third and 18 conversion by Wayne Mackin in the offense, and then a fourth and 15 conversion that led to the game-winning field goal, that game sent State to the SEC championship game. And he argued that that might be the most important two plays in program history. I actually kind of agree. The fourth down play, fourth and 15, I'm going to take a look at that today, draw it up for you. Here's what happened on that play. Fourth and 15 with a minute left, trailing by two. You have to convert out here at the 50-yard line. I'll show you the play, then I'll show you what happened. Three guys go out in the route. It's eight-man rush versus seven blockers. You're outnumbered, but he steps up and makes the throw. So first of all, the route that's being run, you're trying to get that dig at 20 coming across by the uh, single X receiver. This is going to be a clear on the hash by the tight end and bringing the outside guy, the Z, underneath on a post. You kind of get a cross going on up here uh, against man-to-man. -man. Here's the whole key to the play. There are eight defenders in the box all coming after the quarterback. There's eight on this side. You only have seven blockers, so somebody's free. Five offensive linemen, two backs are back there. And this is going to be a case where the unblocked, who's on the line of scrimmage and coming after you, but he just gets caught up trying to go outside on the rush. So back here are three defensive linemen and three linebackers coming after you, and you got six blockers, you know, to, to handle it. The seventh blocker is your right tackle. He's blocking one-on-one -on -one against that defensive end on an outside rush. And so this player you see here is the free rusher who they both go to the outside, take the same path. There's nobody here. It creates the lane for him to step into, and it wastes the number advantage that Arkansas had. Steps up, and then the throw is perfect. So first of all, it's a complete sellout by Arkansas on fourth and 15. In other words, they're putting eight guys in the box and they're all coming after the quarterback. And what it does is it really leaves that secondary kind of hung out to dry if you don't get there. And they don't get there as we see in the play. What you're doing with the X receiver, Kevin Cooper, stem and then across at 20. You're gonna clear out with that tight end, get him up the seam and supposed to be posed to kind of run off the safety and it gets pushed a little shallow, but it works out. The rush doesn't get there and here's the primary reason why. Outside, outside here, and what happens is back and tackle take care of that. Center and left guard work back to the tackle to the, the linebacker, who I believe is coming to the outside there. They try to go kind of outside and in, but four on four is taken care of on this side on the eight-man rush. But on the play side, back and guard work tackle to linebacker here, but this right tackle, Anthony Cap, is left alone with two rushers to the outside so it's one versus two he pushes and turns his body on that end but the safety coming off the edge goes outside as well gets caught up and never gets there quarterback steps up linebacker will chase but he steps in here he almost got a little bit of a rub on the corner as he came across because the the post comes in it kind of you know pushes him off of his route just a little bit the db that is and there's just this wide open throwing lane and it's all a matter of can the quarterback wayne madkin throw across his body and hit that guy in stride and he does it's a big first down so again you take a look at the blocking from this angle you've got eight coming after you you got seven to block on that side you're outnumbered but here's how it happens the back is going to account for one rusher on this side the tackle is going to take the other so there's two on two the guard and center are tackled a linebacker here. That's blocked up, so your numbers are okay here. Then you come over here to the front side. Okay, right guard is on the defensive tackle. The back is stepping in here against the linebacker. That's two on two. And now it's one on two, and there's your free guy. And watch the tackle, Anthony Cap. He's gonna face up and take care of that outside rush of the defensive end. But the rusher on that side kind of takes himself out of it, trying to get deep on fourth and 15. And with the angle that he takes, he pushes him to the outside and Cap's body is kind of just taking care of two guys in space. The late pickup right there by the center was a big deal because the push allows him to have some time to run. But throwing across your body here is hard and that is an absolute strike. 
So then you kind of see the route up top, what happened. Kevin Cooper is going to push, stem, and then get across there at 20 on that dig. You're going to see that post come across his face. It's Kelvin Love coming up here. He's bringing his post a little more shallow across the field, but it works out because it almost works like a rub on the corner. 